All right, guys. Um, today, this video is going to be just to follow the fault finding and repair of uh, an, uh, a problem with uh, Volkswagen Corrado. Uh, the problem was uh, no, no spark, so obviously I couldn't fire the engine. Um, and uh, basically after spending some time uh, try to trace the fault down by checking cablings, checking connections, uh, measuring continu continuity on the, on the wires, uh, ignition coils, uh, absolutely everything. I've, I've checked pretty much everything that could be um, resulting on this uh, non-spark fault. Um, so, nearly running out of options, um, I decide to turn my attention into the ECU itself. Uh, the issue in question, and we are talking about uh, G, this uh, Corrado uh, G60, uh, 1.8 G60 from 1992. So this is the issue, and uh, obviously that was the, <laughs> the the case. This is the issue itself, and uh, so basically when start to follow the the fall down uh, when I got to the ECU basically the the signal for the ignition coil should come in out from pin 25 which is this last pin on the bottom row so that is pin 25 now after that Obviously, I've opened this. You you remove this cover. You don't remove. It, you flip it over because it's, this is actually soldered into the PCBs, so you can't really take it off. Um, the faulty components. I removed them. I've just put them back for the purpose of the video, so just to show you where they are and 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 what what's wrong with them. So I'm going to try to focus this. And I'm sure by now you can see one of the faulty components. So that top resistor is a, is a 22 ohms, 1 watt. And as you can see, it's absolutely burned. The one right below is a diode. Measuring the diode, it looks okay. But I'm going to replace it just in case. And the next component on the on this uh, spark circuit is actually this capacitor. And this capacitor, when measured on my uh, oscilloscope, is actually faulty. Is it drains like in a fraction of a second, uh, no near where where it should be. Uh, it should hold current. Uh, if there's no load, it should hold the current for quite a long time. And as soon as you you take the 12 volts from it, it just drains straight away. So that is faulty as well. I'm gonna get it replaced as well. So hopefully after these three components replaced, uh, we should we should hopefully get back on the road. So I'm gonna order the components and uh, put them on ECU and have a go.